Welcome to this problem solving session where we have to convert this wedge dash representation into Fisher and then correspondingly assign R and S configuration to a chiral carbon. Now let's look at where are the position of the chiral center. Now this is one chiral center because all the substituents are different methyl H and COCH3 and you have a, d a vast molecule on this side. Also over here we have this is a star carbon. So what do we do? We first try to convert this into the sawhorse. Now if we see the molecule from here then clearly we have two substituents. See the methyl is inside so which means H would be outside. So if we draw the front carbon which means this carbon we are talking about then downward we have CH2, CH3. Where is, uh, where is CH2, CH3? It is this thing. On uh, the left hand side, on the left hand side, which means inside the plane it is CH3, outside the plane it is H. If we talk about the rear carbon, then it will have two bonds down because if the methyl is coming out, then H has to be inside. So it would be like this. Now what do we have on the upward side? It is substituent which is CO, CH3. Right? Inside the plane would be H which appears on left on seeing from the side and uh, outside it is CH3. So it is the sawhorse of this. Next what? We need to convert this into fissure. So what do we do? Now the rule is very simple that if an observer is looking from above then the substituent which you place on the up and the downward position should be moving away from the observer. So it is correct. So if you want to place this, it's fine. This is CH2, CH3 over here. And this is CH3 and this is H. But we need to rotate this. Why? Because this is on the side of the observer. So basically if we rotate this, say clockwise by 180, then we have CO, CH3 over here. But the CH3 and the H would have in interchanged their position. So it would be CH3 on this side and H on this side. Then, how do we name it? <coughs> then, according to the IUPAC system, uh, the highest priority group over here is ketone, so numbering would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, if we were to select the longest carbon chain. So clearly, the third carbon and the fourth carbon are the chiral carbon, and we have to address what kind, kind of carbon is that. So what do we do? We apply the same principle, so looking over it. So the highest priority group over here, for example, if we talk about this is the first atom attached is carbon, carbon and a carbon over here, then we have to look for the bonds. Of course, H is the smallest, so 4 we can assign safely over here. Now, this is having CO bond. CO bond definitely dominates and therefore this will be assigned as 1. Here you have only CH, CH and CH bond. Here we have, here we have CC, CAC and CH bond, which means this would be the second position. This is 2 as per the SIP rule. And this is the third position. Now drawing an arrow from 1 to 3 from side of 2, it is clockwise. Should have been R, but look at the position of 4. It is on the horizontal line, so it is S. So third would be S, right? So it is 3S. Let me just write it properly again. It is 3S. Now what about the fourth one? Again, doing the same thing over here. 4, SIP rule 4 is applied to the hy hydrogen. Over here we have carbon, here we have carbon and here also we have carbon. But here we have CH, CH and CC. Here we have CC, CC and uh, CH. So basically this would be second, right? This is third and sorry, uh, there's a mistake over here. Let me just clear this. Uh, okay, look at this over here. So what do we have? This is a star carbon. So the highest priority would be assigned where? This is CC, this is CC, and this is CH. Of course, we have then COCH3 attached over here. So this would be 1, right? This would be 2, this would be 3, and this would be 4. So drawing a circular arrow from 1 to 3 from side of 2, it should have been R, but look at the position of 4. It is on the horizontal line, so it is again S. So both the configuration. 3 is also S and 4 is also S. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped you in understanding what the RS configuration is.